Hey there. Is this really okay to do? Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. This has been a quandary for at least since the middle of the last century. Whether you can use soap on cast iron. Is your cast iron so sacred and the beautiful patina that it has? Can you use this evil stuff called soap on there? Should you never touch it? Should you use just the coarse salt and water thing? I'm gonna answer all that today for you on Garden Fork. So after cooking, some people might do a quick water rinse and then a quick dry on your stove top. And many of us will add just a touch of oil to the pan, wipe it round, let it cool, and we're done. And then there's some of us who, after cooking, they literally scoop out their food, had a nice dinner, but while the pan is hot, they clean it out with just a paper towel, set it back down, basta, done. So three ways, one of them sacrilege maybe, two of them kind of accepted. What do you all think? I'm gonna tell you what I think, all right? Somebody's very excited about the props that we have up here. This is still hot. Cast iron has been around for, according to Wikipedia, Wikipedia 2,000 years. And the process of seasoning cast iron has a lot to do with oil painting, believe it or not. Oh, now think about it, oil painting used, and still does, use oil paint. And when you're seasoning your cast iron, you're using an oil as well. So think about it. Old oil paint, old cast iron, both use oil. But they use a particular, ideally, they use a particular kind of oil. Wait for it. And these are called drying oils. You like my visuals here? Drying oils, when oil dries out, actually, it can be any kind of oil, it does this thing called polarimization. I really love this word. It's a big word. What it does is it takes an oil or oil paint, polymerizes it into a non-oil product. So this seasoned cast iron pan, this one's a little dodgy because I messed it up, um, has gone through a process where this on here is not oil. It's a plastic glass-like -like surface. Polymerization makes this happen to the oil. It's no longer an oil like a vegetable oil like this. No longer an oil paint kind of thing. It is a different compound altogether. You know, I just found this in our living room and I, I had no idea it was there. <laughs> um, it could use a little cleaning. It's canvas on board. I feel like I'm on the Antiques Roadshow here. We could do a whole episode on how to clean your oil paintings as well. So the oil paints that the old school guys used and you, you buy in the store today are made with a particular kind of oil. They're, or oils, they're called drying oils. Flax oil is one of the best drying oils out there. Sunflower oil is another good one. Regular old vegetable oil is also a drying oil. This is still kind of warm, but I'm gonna, hang, I'm gonna wing it. But when, back in the old, old days, pre-1950, I'd say, 19th and early 20th century, when you were cooking with cast iron, or I think that was about it to cook with back then, you were not using a drying oil, you were using animal-based fats. So this is a bit of a leap, but think about this. When you're using fat-based oils, animal fat-based oils, to lubricate your pan so your food doesn't stick and also makes your food taste better, searing it, enhancing the flavor, making it more um, unctuous, is that a good word for that? You know, bacon fat. Oh, we have a whole thing about um, bacon fat in a skillet cornbread. It kind of went awry. I'll link to it at the end of the show in the show notes. It's, it's a good video. So 
your grandmother or whoever you are that you're referencing about using soap on cast iron. This is all coming together now, okay? So think about this. We were using animal-based fats to grease our pans. And you were using these fats to season your cast iron. I didn't, that was an unintended prop right there. So back in the day, you didn't want to use soap on your cast iron because the soap would strip this off because animal-based fats are not really good drying oils. They will dry if you put them on the stove top. You wipe this out, just put it back on the stove top. It'll eventually dry. It forms a nice sheen and you're probably gonna reuse the thing fairly quickly because back then they didn't have takeout food, right? But our modern day cast iron that we've obviously been seasoning, you could have a pan for a hundred years or this one I just seasoned the other day, are using a much better drying oil to create that polymerization in a much faster time frame. And, where's my other prop? Like on my cards here? So, I was just trying to figure out a, a way to make this visually interesting for you all. So think about this, back, back in the day, uh, your grandmother's time with your 50 year old cast iron, you're seasoning it with animal-based fats. If you were to put this in a lye-based soap, uh, that you had just seasoned with the cast iron, I mean seasoned with animal fats, because animal fats take a long time to dry. They will polymerize, but it takes a really long time. So if you washed it the next day, you would strip out that recent seasoning. So I can understand why so many people said, don't use soap on your cast iron, because it really would strip out a lot of the non-stickness, a lot of the oil, but these oils took forever to dry. But today we're using much better drying oils. Remember like oil painting? Vegetable oil, flax oil is big in oil paints for artists. I mean, think about oil paint on the outside of your house. That's why we use oil paints outside, right? These are much better drying oils. If you wanna season your cast iron, flax oil is the best, by the way. Um, sunflower is a close second and a lot less expensive. But nowadays, we're using vegetable-based oils to create our I like my flashcards. Polymerization, right? But modern day soaps, what they do to get fats off of an object is they don't necessarily dissolve it. They make the fats form into much smaller little bubbles that are much easily washed off with water. Science fact. So polymerization, the big deal. And vegetable oil makes that much easier. So. In modern day times, you can use soap on cast iron.